Hi guys, it's Vasi. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the most interesting things about Italy and Italian culture. Hi! Also from me. I can wait to make jokes behind her back. If you like those topics about cultural differences, traveling and life abroad, make sure to subscribe. My grandma has also been very happy recently because many of you subscribe. So thank you, it really means a lot to me and be sure that I notice every single one of you that comments and likes my videos. Let's go straight into it. If you know one thing about me, it is that I love Italy and I love Italians. In the beginning when I moved to Italy, there were some things that I was just finding particular that shocked me and I still think they're quite interesting. And no, today we're not going to talk about spaghetti and meatballs that don't exist or that there are bidets in the bathrooms or digestivo. No, none of this bullshit. We'll talk about real Italian culture. Number one, hand gestures. And I'm sure you have noticed that I move my hands a lot when I speak, but it doesn't really mean anything. Whereas for Italians, Every hand gesture has its specific meaning. And actually I decided to take the flight because I thought it's easier, isn't it? That's why we should go in summer. Doesn't mean anything. What, what is this? Number two, coffee culture. And if you think about Italy, you know that Italians love their coffee, right? Something that they love, I would expect them to have their coffee for longer, but it turns out the coffee culture is really fast in Italy. You go to the bar, you have your coffee, and then you leave. Whereas where I'm coming from, you can have your coffee literally sitting down for two or three hours. You can always tell that I'm a foreigner because I order my cappuccino in the afternoon or just later than 11 a.m. It turns out this is something which Italians don't really do. Hi, can I have some cappuccino please? With soy milk, if possible. Three. To go food is not really a thing, so don't go and ask for your coffee or for your lunch to, for takeaway. But at the same time, you know, Italians eat their ice cream to go, which is such a weird food to eat while you are walking. I find it so hard not to make myself dirty while eating ice cream. If there is one thing which I want to eat while I'm sitting down, that's ice cream. But no, in summer, everyone is walking around with their gelato. Four. Italian breakfast. When I was little, I had to eat for breakfast bread with eggs and cheese and like all those boring healthy things that you know they're actually considered part of the Mediterranean diet. Actually, in Italy, they eat biscuits and bread with jam and brioche and all those super exciting cakes sweets for breakfast. It was literally my dream breakfast when I was a kid. Five. Italians love and hate relationship with Italy. I just find it very interesting how Italians are the first ones to complain about how high the taxes are or about unemployment rate or if your train is late. But at the same time, if a foreigner says something slightly negative about Italy, like I want more milk in my cappuccino. Really, this cappuccino again? Trust me, they will be the first ones to tell you that this is the way to do things and Italy is the best and they would be the first ones to defend it. It's closer to a British carbonara. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. What the hell is, you know, it doesn't make any sense what you said. Number six, people get close to you both physically and emotionally way faster. And when I first moved to Milan, my housemate told me all her life story in 30 minutes. And she told me things that usually it would take me to know someone for at least a year before I share all those things. But with Italians, it's not like that. And if you look at two people, an Italian and a Scandi person talking, it would look something like that. 
Actually, I think you're talking about uh, personal space, huge research, but I don't really trust you with information, so it's gonna be linked down below. Seven, national and regional pride. So pretty much everyone is very protective of their own region and their home city. Let me tell you this, when I first moved to Italy, I met people from all around the country and pretty much everyone told me that their city and their region is the best. They explained to me what's the difference in their cuisine, in their food, in their history and what makes them different, but also the best. <laughs> Shall we have some cannoli? I really want to have some cannoli. Why would you have cannoli when we're in Campobasso? In Campobasso what's typical is arrosticino. If you want cannoli, you go to Sicily. I'm sorry to interrupt this lovely conversation, but how are meat skewers close to a dessert? I mean, at least like, let's try and balance it with another dessert. Yeah, but I want them so much. Much. And it's still Italy. There's no, no, it's different. Cause if you want cannoli, you go back to Sicily. Eight accents. Accents and dialects are very important part of Italian culture and Italians can tell from which region or at least from which part of the country are you depending on your accent and to be honest with you I can never tell from which part of Bulgaria someone is depending on how do they speak. And maybe the problem is just you because I spoke to other Bulgarians and they, and they can tell the difference. In Italian there are so many differences in words and and just in accents that you can really tell the difference. And now let's test this out. This is from the north, I think either like from Lombard, Lombardia or Veneto. Say the Lombardy. Two out of three is not so bad. And you were about to guess the third one, so. Good job, actually. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a foreigner, which one of those things surprised you the most. And if you're an Italian, let me know, do you agree with those things? If you don't, why? Let's just have a nice chat in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me, guys. Or at least subscribe so you can see more of me. Bye.